What's up, everybody? Tom Pelissero here at day three of media availability at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. Most interesting thing today, the Vikings executives and coaches are done talking. There aren't a whole lot of people coming up from any of the NFL teams. The number one thing that everybody watched today was Ryan Mallett, the Arkansas quarterback, Cam Newton, the Auburn quarterback, speaking to the media. The results really could not have been a whole lot different. Mallett went about seven minutes before cutting off the interview, having uh, declined to answer a number of different questions about rumors about drug use and character concerns, deflecting responsibility, implying that people are making things up to try to hurt him. I've heard that from a number of different people. I've talked to people down here that you really have to do your due diligence uh, when, it's, when it comes to Ryan Mallett. He's the one quarterback in this class played in a true pro style offense has that big frame can throw the ball a mile has a fantastic arm i talked to one scout down here who just said that it's an absolute cannon but the quarterback position is a different animal you can't have a guy you have significant character concerns be thinking about drafting him in the first round now i've also heard the mallets performed better in the t interviews with the teams than he did here today but you're talking about your public persona and the fact that he couldn't get himself to not sneer at the first question that came out about rumors about him and the fact that the best he could do was say that people were making things up but also not actually flat out deny or even really address the source of the rumors it's an issue no we we don't have a you know he doesn't owe us anything he doesn't have to say anything but he certainly could have declined to answer questions in a way that would not have come off the way it did, which was cocky and arrogant. Even when he was asked tough football questions, he came off in arrogant ways. He was asked about questions about his accuracy uh, and his decision-making, and his answer was 7,000 yards and 60 touchdowns. That's how I answer that. A series of things like that, whereas Cam Newton clearly came in with a plan. He made an opening statement, which was bizarre, he, but he also you know, basically talked about the things that people wanted to talk about, which was the NCAA uh, investigation. He admitted the teams were asking about his father's involvement in his career all these things that are coming up. He tried to be more forthright. He also tried to set himself apart from Blaine Gabbert, the Missouri quarterback, who's the one quarterback who won't throw down here. Newton said he's excited to come down here and compete. He doesn't want to shy away from that. That is something that scouts want to see. No, it doesn't hurt guys necessarily if they don't throw down here. Sam Bradford was the number one pick last year. Didn't throw at the combine. But for a guy in Newton's case, a guy who's rising, a guy who has a chance, I don't know how good of one, but a chance to be the number one pick, he doesn't want to miss out on the opportunity. He also plans to throw at his pro day. It'll be interesting to see how those guys are able to perform tomorrow. One more day left here in Indianapolis. We'll see you then.